guys, Patrice here with another video. This time this is my empties. I don't remember the last time I filmed an empties. Um, I believe by my, by the wax melt challenge, it was October 20th, so almost a month. To be honest, I went to film and last week and, and I just, or this weekend that just passed and I just, I just didn't feel like it. I, I don't know since I moved, like it's just, we've had so much to do and really since I moved um my boyfriend used to go away every other weekend to his family's up this way so I kind of had every other week to film or and then um now I he's home every weekend and I just it, I work every day it seems unlike when I was in uh my old town um so yeah, I just haven't had much and I don't have as many warmers. So I just, I kind of wait till I have enough to talk about. So there's that. So we'll get into it. There's not a really a whole lot here for almost a month. It, it just, there's not. Um, I don't know. Anyways, let's just get into it. So um, I have a few non-wax. I got through uh, Sun Circle and Snowberry. I like Snowberry. I don't know if I'm crazy about it in my car. I really like Snowberry in wax, I think. But this is one of the scents I associate with my grandfather because I really liked it at his house. So I really have to differentiate what it felt about his house to what if I like the scent. <laughs> um, and I put Weather and Leather, and this is still going. This is crazy. I love Weather and Leather for my car, even though I don't have leather seats. So, oh well. And then I got through, this is a sugar scrub from Country Market Crafts, which is a Canadian vendor, um, and Funnel Cake Donuts, which is fluffy, fried, pastry, rich, sweet vanilla, and loads of confectionery sugar. This smells like kind of like churro churro a little bit. It's just like that very deep, I don't like the, oh, this kind of turned towards the end of it. It might be the age, this is probably a couple years old, but this is a really great scent. I loved her wax, but... I think her prices went up and I just haven't been buying from any vendors, but this is a really, really, really good sugar scrub. Um, this is probably my favorite sugar scrub. Like it, the sugar is abrasive enough to kind of like do its job, but then it kind of like melts into your arm. Unlike I find like Sensi's just stays like rock hard. So yeah, I would just use it up before it gets too old. I'm really learning now with body products. I'm trying to use them up now. So Let's get into the wax. I only have a few things that I melted that wasn't part of the wax melt challenge. So um, we'll do Scentsy. I got through an apple s'mores, harvest apple, cinnamon glaze, coconut milk, toasted marshmallow, vanilla creme, and warm cedar wood. Again, a lot of these you guys are probably going to hear repeats because like I'm trying to use up like everyone knows Patricia Gates term uh, flat bottom. I'm trying to use them up. And I think I had like 10 of these apple s'mores. I don't want to melt them all in the same month, so I'm just gradually using them. So this is one of my favorite scents. This is a powerhouse. This was from 2019, so four years old. This is a powerhouse. This is why I'm kind of starting to stick with Scentsy some. This is four years old, and it's a powerhouse. I get some vendor wax that don't throw for the same price as what this is. Actually, more because this is $8 Canadian. Like some souffles is like $10 Canadian. And they just don't throw, so I'm, that's crazy four years. Wait, no, talk about this one after, because I melted it in the wax challenge, sorry. Uh, that, so, I get through Ella after, I'm really trying to get through my Ella after, Ella after too, so, um, so most of my November is Ella after. Um, dress to chill, blackberry vanilla balsam. It's really good. It's not as good as Ebony Violet has a Blackberry Vanilla Balsam. Hers is perfect mix. This one's definitely more balsam, but it's really good and it's really strong. Indulgent Souls. Palo Santo Oil Tan Bake Shop Campfire Marshmallow. I had this for one of my... Um, oh my goodness I'm just a mess today I had this for one of my prompts and it just didn't fit the prompt I found once they started melting it or like this I don't like or I didn't like I, I don't know it's very incensey like that Palo definitely like stands out 
um, as incense -y, and I was like, man, this doesn't fit the prompt. Um, so I, I changed it out with something else, but yeah, this warming is better. You, that campfire marshmallow definitely comes out in the old town bake shop, kind of creams it out, but I, it's not a repurchase. It, it's strong. It's about a medium, but it just doesn't throw. Like when I walk near the warmers, I can smell it strong, but just like through the, um, through the center of the house, like the rooms, I can't. So it's not a repurchase anyways. Uh, sleigh all day, strawberry pound cake, vintage vanilla birch. The last time I warmed this, I said I didn't get anything from this. I got something, I like not something. It threw pretty well this one, so I don't know what happened. It's not a boomer, but you definitely get like a very beautiful vanilla with that strawberry pancake. It's definitely body care. I enjoy this. I might, if she pours, I know she's like kind of closed at the time, like because she's going to school. Um, but she poured this again. I would definitely pick up another one and melt it sooner to see if it does better. Um, Carolina, raspberry jam, strawberry pancake, shortbread. This is definitely all raspberry jam and it is a perfumey raspberry jam so if you do not like raspberry perfume raspberry do not get this one but this one was strong and it's good not a, like a massive repurchase but if she had some i would repurchase so that's all for like the non uh, melt challenge so so day 21 october 21st was melt the scent a witch would melt and i went with britta's evil witch Hansel and Gretel, pumpkin pecan waffles and apple pie. This one's great. Britta, again, I can't say anything bad about Britta. This is good. Is it like a rush out of purchase? No, but if I was making an order, I, I would put this in. So really good, medium throw. Uh, melt a pretty scent. So I love prompts like this because you could go with like a pretty color or a pretty scent, you think. So I went with like the aesthetics being pretty. I went with Ebony Violet Sweet Tooth, which is cupcakes of Tiffany's, pretzels, sugar cookies, salted caramel, drizzle. This was delicious and it was the most beautiful wax. It was bright neon pink with some like uh, gold swirls through it. It was beautiful. This lasted a long time. I love Ebony Violet. I don't think she's pouring right now, but I would repurchase from her. That one's great. Um, so day 23, Melt the Scent that reminds you of Boston. That was, there's always one prompt that kind of, I'm just like, what do I do? And I'm, and I'm pulling from a select amount. Like you guys watch my, what I've been melting or my, my project use it up. You know I'm pulling from a select bunch, so I really even limits me even more. So I went with Sweet Plum Pastry, and the reason I went with Sweet Plum Pastry is because Boston makes me think of Boston Cream Pies, which we have Boston Cream Donuts up here. Uh, you guys have Tim Hortons, I think, in the States too, but Boston Cream Donuts, so I thought of pastries, so. And I don't have the scent notes, but it's like plums marshmallow clouds and coconut or something toasted coconut everybody knows the scent everybody loves the scent like it's very rare if you hear someone doesn't like the scent. this is from march 2018 and this threw extremely well i have this in my club it's not coming out of my club favorite plum scent great day 24 was melt a scent that has clove in it and i went with sensi's jack's obsession I don't know if I'm blurry or not, if it's my lens or whatever, but I apologize if it is. Um, apple, clove, and cinnamon. Everybody loves the scent. Like people were like, oh my gosh, it's coming out in the brick, but you can't only buy in the bundle, which uh, I assume, I haven't seen like hardly anybody buy that. So I assume eventually it's probably gonna get split in the sale. I don't like this. I don't, it has like a soap note to my nose. Like since some of their scents, have like a very strange soap note. And that's what I get with this one. It's it's not, it was a good performer, but it's just not a love of mine. So this is, a, I think the only bar I have. Yeah, I bought it when it originally came out in 2018. So not a repurchase, but if you love it, I'm happy for you. Day 25, melt something tart. I didn't have a lot. <laughs> So I went with Brita's Zombie Juice with margarita and strawberry. That margarita is sharp and tart to my nose. This is a fantastic scent. She has the best margarita scents. And mixed with that strawberry. I love this. This performed 
very, very well. I would 100% pick this one up again. If you like margarita scents, give this one a try. Day 26, Melt a Non-Spice Pumpkin Scent. So I went with Pumpkin Marshmallow. Like the epitome of non-spice pumpkin. This smells like just canned pumpkin. Marshmallow, fresh baked pumpkin, graham cracker crust. Yeah, it's just, it smells like canned pumpkin with marshmallows. I used to really like this and now I just like it. So I don't know if my, I, I think I'm just kind of getting over pumpkin a little bit. I used to be obsessed with anything pumpkin and now I'm finding like the more pumpkin scents I get, the more that I'm like, oh, that's okay. That's nice. That's, yeah. So anyways, I got more of this. If it came back, I might grab one or something, but it, it wouldn't be a club scent, so. Um, day 27, melt a scent you're unsure of, and I went with uh, Ella After's Dollhouse Chill, which is balsam and forever home. Her forever home is like shiplap and burn wood or something. I don't know. It is very powdery. Oh, no. Her Forever Home is very powdery. I get no balsam from that. That is all straight powder to my nose. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, I didn't like this. This was like a super, super, super powerhouse. So if you like powdery kind of scents, give this one a try. But it definitely was not a Patrice scent. Day 28, melt a chocolate scent or a scent or a wax that looks like chocolate. And I went with British chocolate chip cookie dough, sugar cookie dough, eggnog. This was really good. And cold, I was just like, eh. It kind of smelled like that fake chocolate, but on warm, this like was so good. Like I, I really, really, really enjoyed this. So um, I think I have one more and I'm not sure, but I might, I, I'm part of the Canadian round robin and I, I'm really trying to pick scents that I hope other people would like. I know a lot of people don't like chocolate, but I really love Brita's oils and I really want people to try it. So I might send some chocolate, just a few, just to let them try it. So I'm not sure. It's so hard to pick what to send with that. And I, I'm the next one to get it. And for some reason I should have got it today, but Canada Post just decided to say like, no, you can't because I would have been able to film today and have it ready to go tomorrow because I have tomorrow off. But now I have to be in my old town. So I don't, th anyways, sorry. Day 29, melt a sample. I had one sample. <laughs> um, Britta's one night stamp, pink sugar, blue sugar, flannel sheets. This performed. This was like four or five days in my bathroom downstairs. I forgot what it was. I'm like, man, what is this? Because my bathroom's still through, but the rest of the downstairs didn't. I'm like, I don't understand what's going on. This sent through and it was so so good if you like flannel sheets with some of the sugars give this one a try it was a powerhouse and i would 100 percent repurchase that uh day 30 melt a candy scent i went with sensi's um unicorn kisses from the fantasy wax collection it is pink watermelon cherry lollipop and rainbow rose this was better on warm than on cold but it's still it it did not perform it is from three years ago but as we I've said like there's wax from five years ago that performed this was okay it's just like a watermelon I didn't really get a lot of rose it is very candy-ish so I mean if you like candy type of scents with a little bit of watermelon maybe if you ever see this give this one a try but it's not one that I can recommend so day 31 melt the spooky shape or Halloween scent and I went with the queen of spooky scents and shapes Brita's I, that would be a tragedy if I did not um and it was because they were shaped in little tombstones and I did the skeleton key sandalwood and blue sage berry waffle cone cotton candy frosting I don't like this one I bought this and I got this in a sampler yeah, that um, sandalwood and blue sage, not my thing. And that berry waffle cone and cotton candy didn't do anything to help it. It performed good, but it's just not a uh, me scent, so. So now we're on to November. <laughs> Day one, melt a scent that contains cinnamon. And I, a lot of mine is um, Ella After. So Ella After's Augustus Mayhew's Creamy Cinnamon Funnel Cake and Buttercream. This was so good. I think I got one more of this. I know people say with Ella after like that they either perform or they don't. And I agree to a certain extent, 
So it makes me kind of sad because I, there's a few of my favorites that I kind of want to send in the Ram Robin, but I really would feel bad if they didn't perform. So it's just like, I guess that's a hidden, like a risk you take. But this one, so good. You definitely got like a creamy bakery type of scent with that buttercream and cinnamon. This one threw really well. Amazing scent. 100% would pick up more of that one. Day two, melt a yellow wax. And I went with Ella Afters 257. Banana caramel cupcakes, cake batter, and rich cream. This just smelled like candy banana to my nose. It threw okay. It's not a standout. Banana's super hard to do, but I keep having hope I like for it. But this one was just okay. I think I got one more, but I wouldn't repurchase. Day three, melt a fun set. And I kind of took this one like just like um, in a different direction, I guess. And I went with Ebony Violet Simon Says because I used to have fun playing Simon Says when I was a kid. And it is kind of a fun scent. Pumpkin pecan waffles, blackberry jam butter cookies, and caramel. I love this scent. It's just, you get all three of those notes. Definitely more pumpkin pecan waffles and blackberry jam butter cookie, but that caramel sneaks through. This one's good. It's a great performer and I would repurchase. Day four, melt a blackberry scent. And I went with Ella Afters Brona. Blackberry Boom Boom Marshmallow Fluff. This one is so good if you like Boom Boom. Her blackberry is fantastic. But this one mixed with the Boom Boom, it was just like, it wasn't like overpowering like headache. It was like a nice medium. And I put this in my bedroom. I didn't want to leave my bedroom to be honest with you. Is that Blackberry and Boom Boom just blended amazing. I really enjoyed that one and I would pick up more. Day five, melt a fa your favorite bakery. I didn't have my favorite bakery in the, my project use it up. So, but I did have a favorite bakery and it is Sensi's Banana Nut Bread. Right, banana, nuts, and spices. I just said that about banana, but this is 100% my favorite banana. It just smells like a delicious banana nut bread. I love this one. Performs great. It's in my club. It'll never come out. Day six, melted orange wax. And it's kind of funny. So for melted orange wax, why I had two pumpkin marshmallows was because I didn't realize that. So I pull different months, right? I didn't realize I had one so close, a pumpkin marshmallow, to this one, a pumpkin marshmallow, until I went to put them in this, and I'm like, oh, I already did that. So I just, like, scrapped that and put in Autumn Sunset, or Sunrise, sorry, tart pomegranate, raspberry, nutmeg, spice, cinnamon, stick. Again, I think I talked about this last one. This is the perfect fall fruity scent if you guys ever get a chance to try it. It is... Just like you can get the tartness of the pomegranate because it says tart pomegranate. But you definitely get like the cinnamon and nutmeg. This is like an amazing September scent, late August. I can melt this anytime. I had this in my club and I removed it and I kind of kicking myself for it. This one's great. Give this one a try if you like late summer, early fall fruit scents. Day seven, melt a family fave. I went with... Monster Ella Afters, Monster Loves Cupcakes, Radiant Red Maple and Cupcakes of Tiffany's. Radiant Red, or Cupcakes of Tiffany's is like a love in my house. It's one of the only scents that my boyfriend has ever said that he loves, but this one, Radiant Red Maple, overtook this. And I love Radiant Red Maple, so I wasn't upset about it, but it overtook it, so it was really just a radi radi Radiant Red Maple scent. I would repurchase that anyways. Day eight, melt uh, coffee, milk, or brown scent. I went with Ebony Violets, Vanilla Cappuccino Crunch, Sugar Cookies, Coffee Bean, Marshmallow Cream. Fantastic coffee scent. Oh, it's just like pure coffee with just a little bit of cream in it. I love this one. Amazing performer. Would pick up. I think that's like the second time I bought that, but yeah. I know my favorites from Ebony Violet and I just keep buying them in like loaves or snap bars whenever she has it, but she hasn't sold lately. So day nine, melt the scent that starts with A, I went with Ella Afters, all that glitters is snow, peppermint clouds and blue sugar. Her peppermint clouds is twisted peppermint and white clouds. This was a powerhouse. Like, I mean, blew me out of my open concept. I am not a mint person, you guys know, but I am 
becoming a mint lover. And that laundry with the blue sugar, I would buy, I think I got a couple more of these, but 100% would buy way more of this. This, is, again, is over a year old, or a year old, roughly, and it just blew me out of my house. Amazing. Day 10, melted vanilla or cupcake scent. I think most people went with like a bakery vanilla and I was just like, you know what, let's be a rebel. I went with Ella Afters, every line I've ever read, vanilla lace and pink sands. Again, a really, really great scent. I love pink sands and I do like vanilla lace. This is definitely pink sands heavy with just a little bit of vanilla lace. Great performer, I really enjoyed it. It actually lasted so long that I was kind of like, okay, I'm ready to change it. But I think I got one more and I would pick up more of that. Day 11, Meltus Red Scent. And I went with Britta's Bloody Mary. You can still see the red. Um, Palo Santo Sugar Cookie, Vanilla Bean Marshmallow, Pink Sugar, Cake Butter Fudge, Sweet and Creamy. This was okay. Again, I'm not a Palo Santo person. I bought so much of it when everyone was raving about it. But yeah, it's just, it's not a love of mine and it didn't perform very well. It's very rare for Brita's not to perform well. Sometimes Brita's like performs really well and lasts long. Other ones like perform like a boomer and just die quickly. Um, this one just, I didn't enjoy and it, I could barely smell it like after like four hours. So I wouldn't pick up more anyways, but even if I could smell it, I wouldn't pick up more. Day 12, melt a fall fresh scent. And I went with Scentsy's Porch Pumpkin. Fresh pink punk, fresh picked pumpkin, a acorn and autumn air. Yeah, this one, it's not a love, but the more I warmed it, the more I liked it. I would, if I saw this in clearance, I might pick up one or two, but this one kind of has the same note to my nose as, um, what's the other one I just melted? Oh, I brain fart so much, guys. What's the one that I just said has a soapy note? Oh, Jack's Obsession. I just wanna kinda of smell it. I know they smell nothing alike. Yeah, they kinda of have the same kinda of like soapy note if you guys know what i'm talking about let me know but this one just has more like that one's full soap this one i can smell the pumpkin i can smell like the air so yeah i i enjoy this one i would pick up a couple more if it, it's not a, like uh it's not a club scent by any means but it i liked it more on warm than i did on cold two more guys Day 13, melt a plum scent. Everyone's like, I'm surprised you didn't go with sweet plum pastry. I went with Ella after Snow and Love. Frosted plums, cookies, cream cheese, and waffle cone. This isn't my favorite plum scent. This is definitely like almost um, a body care plum. To my nose, it is very kind of perfumey. Just not, I got something in my eyebrow. Sorry, anyways. Um, not a love. I think I, I think this might be my last one or I have one more. I wouldn't pick up more of it, but it performed well. And the last one I have here is um, day 14, melts the scent that starts with M. I did another Monster Loves Cupcakes, but this one is Apple Butter Caramel and Cupcakes at Tiffany's from Ella After. So she did like a, a Cupcakes at Tiffany sampler and like the sampler was called Monster Loves Cupcakes and then it was Cupcakes at Tiffany's blended with other stuff. I don't like this one. <laughs> That apple butter caramel, I don't like. I don't like it on, I've had it on its own. I didn't realize I didn't like it until I ordered it. This one was better because of the cupcakes of Tiffany's, but that apple butter caramel, I just don't like. I don't know what it is about it, but it does not agree with my nose, so I wouldn't repurchase that. Anyways, guys, that is it. That is almost a month's worth of empties. I apologize. I'm gonna try to get doing better, but my problem is is that that's a, almost a month worth. So do you guys prefer shorter films? Do you mind? I, I just, I, I really try not to make promises right now I can't keep. My next video is gonna be my uh, round robin. And then I think that's all I have until my next empties. I haven't been hauling anything. I didn't buy anything from the Scentsy flash sales or the spooky sales. I didn't buy 
I have just been very conscious about my purchases and trying to use up instead of bringing in. So anyways, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.